a very good morning to everyone so today we have a demo on the foot that is the sole of the foot so after reflecting the skin and the superficial fascia the very first structure we can see is known as the plantar aponeurosis i am reflecting this plantar aponeurosis so we have to know the muscles of first layer so there are three muscles so from the medial side to lateral side let's know the muscles so this is the medial side which is having great toe so this is known as the abductor hallucis muscle so origin of this muscle takes place from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum and this muscles runs downwards and attached to the medial side of base of proximal phalanx of big toe this muscles is supplied by medial plantar nerve and it helps in flexion and abduction of the big toe now on the lateral aspect this muscles is known as abductor digiti minimi the origin is from the medial and the lateral tubercle of calcaneum and this muscles is inserted on the lateral side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little toe nerve supply is by lateral plantar nerve and it helps in flexion and abduction of the the little toe so in the middle you can see one more muscles that is known as the flexor digitorum brevis which also resembles the flexor digitorum superficialis of the hand the origin of this muscles takes place from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum now it forms the four tendons for the lateral four toes you can see first second third and the fourth tendon and each tendon divides into two slips and which goes in attached to the either side of middle phalanx of lateral four toes it is supplied by medial plantar knob and also helps in flexor of the lateral four toes let's know the muscles of second layer of the sole so in order to know the muscles of second layer of the sole again we have to reflect this plantar aponeurosis the flexor digitorum brevis muscle and with the help of the forceps i have compressed the abductor hallucis and abductor digiti minimi you can see on the medial aspect this is the tendon of flexor hallucis longus and the origin is from the posterior compartment of the leg that is from the tibia fibula and the interosseous membrane and this runs downwards and attached to the plantar surface of the base of the the distal phalanx of the great toe which helps in flexion of the great toe as well as it is supplied by the tibial nerve now we have the next muscles uh, that is known as the flexor digitorum longus so you can see here this is the tendon of flexor digitorum longus muscle again origin is from the posterior compartment of the the leg region that is from tibia fibula and can see here this fans out to form four tendon first second we have third and the fourth tendon of flexor digitorum longus which goes and attached to the distal phalanx of lateral four toes it is supplied by tibial nerve and also helps in flexion of the lateral four toes so this is all about these two muscles now just behind the flexor digitorum longus we have the muscles and that is known as flexor digitorum accessorius so this is flexor digitorum accessorius so the origin takes place from the two head medial head and the lateral head that is from the medial surface and the lateral surface of the calcaneum and the tubercle and it is inserted into the tendon of flexor digitorum longus supplied by lateral plantar nerve and it helps in assisting the flexor digitorum longus in flexion of lateral four toes now can you see these are the small worms like muscles that is first second third and the fourth lumbricals the origin of these four lumbricals takes place from the tendon of flexor digitorum longus and this four lumbricals is inserted into the uh, the extensor expansion and to the base of the lateral four toes same how the first lumbricals is supplied by medial plantar nerve second third and fourth is supplied by lateral plantar nerve it helps in extension of the toes at the interphalangeal joints so let's recap it so on the medial aspect this is the tendon of flexor hallucis longus this is the tendon of flexor digitorum longus on the back side flexor digitorum accessorius and we have first second third and the fourth lumbricals this is known as medial plantar nerves and the vessels same how on the lateral side we have lateral plantar nerves and vessels so this is all about second layer of the foot